Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton and from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to create a dodge and burn action inside of Photoshop. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. Recently, I shared a video on learning more about layer masks, and we're gonna use that same technique in order to create this action. So what I'd like to do first is go to Window and then Actions in order to show my Actions palette. Let's create a folder or a set, and you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna call mine FA Fun and say OK. And then we are going to record a new action by selecting the Create New Action button at the bottom of the Actions palette. And this is where you would name this action. So let's just call this Dodge Burn. And if you'd like, you could assign a keyboard shortcut. Let's choose F3 for this and say Record. Now be careful because everything you do at this point, Photoshop is recording. So we're going to begin by adding a curves adjustment layer. Now, because every image is gonna be different and I'm gonna wanna run this whenever I need it, I don't really have a certain amount that I pull up on this curve. I'm just gonna brighten the entire image. Then I want to hide this mask by pressing Command or Control I. That is, I wanna conceal those adjustments because I'm going to want to apply this to different portions of different images. Let's double click Curves 1 and name this Dodge. This is a layer that will allow us to add light to our image. Let's create a new Curves Adjustment layer by clicking that icon again in the Adjustment Palette. This time we're going to click and drag down. Again, I don't have a set amount for that because I'll adjust it on every image. Let's press Command or Control I to invert that mask. Let's name it by double clicking the words and calling it burn. And I find that when I run this action, I typically like to start by adding light. So I'm going to select the dodge layer layer mask. That way it's all ready for me when I run the action. I'm also going to press D on my keyboard in order to reset my swatches in my toolbar. That way I know that I have a white brush to begin with when I wanna use these layer masks. Let's go ahead and stop this action and I'm going to close this properties box and I'm just going to delete these layers. That way we can run the action. Let me zoom out with a command or control minus, reposition this a little bit. And now I'm just going to press F3 on my keyboard in order to execute that action. You can download this action for free via the link below, but I like to explain it because when you run the action, it's going to appear as if nothing happened. But what it did was set you up to use either one of these layers. You do not have to use them both, but if you wanted to, you could use the dodge layer maybe to add light to their faces. Again, you can interact with these layers by double clicking them and then pulling up or down on the curve to fine tune that adjustment. You could choose the burn layer Make your brush a little bit bigger with your right bracket key and kind of maybe burn in the edges if that's a look that you enjoy. Click the adjustment layer icon to adjust that. And let's take a look at the before and after by holding down Alt or Option on the keyboard and clicking the visibility icon to the left of the background layer. There's the before and there's the after. This is a really fun, simple action that you can use every day to improve your photos. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.